How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Stand Focus for Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Notice there's a capital W referencing Jesus Christ. If we go down to verse 14, it says, And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So it says, The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Up here it says, the word was God. So God was made flesh and dwelt among us. First Timothy three sixteen and without controversy, so there's no controversy about it. It's clear as day. Great is the mystery of godliness. So the Bible tells us that it was a mystery. There are many things that are, are contained in the Bible that were mysteries. And this is one of them. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, Believed on in the world, received up into glory. Now, who is this talking about? This is talking about Jesus Christ. There's no doubt about that. If you have doubts about it, you need to go seek God on this because this scripture is clear as it can be. And it lines up perfectly with what's going on in John chapter 1. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. The point I'm getting at with this is, who is he? Because right here, it clearly says God. If you open up your Bible, if you have an NIV, ESV, or any other version besides the King James, I'm not sure of the New King James, uh, what it has, but um, so don't quote me on that. But if you open up any of the other versions to 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, it says, He was manifest in the flesh. Right here it says, God, it's clear as day that is God that was manifest in the flesh who is he because I don't know who he is when this Bible right here the King James it says God he could be anybody question why would you change something that is a direct reference to the deity of Jesus Christ and a direct statement that God was manifest in the flesh why would you change it to he there's no logical reason to do so unless you want people to not truly understand or come to the knowledge of the truth that Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh I wonder who would want to do something like that Maybe Satan. Maybe like Satan did in a garden. When God said ye. Shall die if you eat from the tree. And then Satan said ye shall not. Hmm. God was manifest in the flesh. All the newer corrupt versions that come out of the Vatican. 
They say he. I wonder why they changed it. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. And as always, stay focused for Jesus. Oh, let me add, if you have another Jesus, if you have a Jesus that's anything less than God manifesting the flesh, you have another Jesus. You have a false Jesus.